Hello guys, it's Roman from Tentec. Today I will show you how you can create this low poly blender in Blender. Let's dive right in. First, make sure that you have the plugin loop tools enabled because we're gonna need it. Let's select everything with A and delete it. Add a new cube with Shift A. Go into edit mode with tab and select the top base. Scale it down with S. Switch to edge selection mode by pressing 2 and select those edges while holding shift. Now press Ctrl B to bevel them. Next switch back to face selection mode again by pressing 3 and select this face and inset it with I. Like this. Press W, subdivide and press W again choose loop tools and hit circle. If you don't have the option loop tools there, you're gonna need to activate it. You can do it under edit and then preferences and search for it. Now scale the circle down with S and extrude it with E, inset it with I and extrude it again with E. Now select those edges while holding shift and bevel them with Ctrl B. Let's move to the top part. Select this face right here, inset it with I and extrude it with E and scale it with S. Now extrude it again with E and scale it with S, like this. Now to make that thing hollow, inset it with I. Then switch to wireframe mode by pressing Z and choose wireframe and go into the side view by pressing 1 on the numpad and extrude down with E. Scale it inwards with S until it's mostly parallel and extrude it again and scale it again. We can leave wireframe mode now. For that press set, go to solid. Now for the lid, select the face loop up here by holding alt and right click on it. Duplicate it with shift D and hit Z so that it only moves on the Z axis. Move it up a little bit. Now, with it still selected, press P. Choose selection. And now we separated it into a different object. We can leave edit mode with tab. Select it. And go into edit mode again with tab. Like this. Now select this edge loop by holding Alt. And hit F to fill. Now select everything with A and hit E to extrude. Select the bottom face right here and hit E to extrude again, just a little bit. Then select the top face, inset it with I and extrude it with E, like this. Now we can leave edit mode again with tab Press G set to move it down. Like this. Now all that's left to do is the coloring. For that I'm gonna switch into material view on top here. And I switch my render engine to cycles. And let's select the blender. Go into edit mode with tab, select everything with A, go to the materials tab right here, add a new material and choose the color that you want. I'm gonna make mine gray, maybe like this. Now let's focus the button 
or that I'm gonna select those two face loops while holding Alt and Shift. Add a new material. I will make mine black or nearly black. Hit Assign. Do the same for the button itself. Add a new material. Gonna make mine red. And hit Assign. You can always change the color afterwards. If I want it to be green, I can do that. But I'm gonna leave it red. Now let's do the glass. For that I'm gonna hit 1 on the numpad to go in the side view. Go into wireframe mode with Z. And hit B to select all those faces right here. Add a new material. Change the shader to glass BSDF and turn down the roughness and hit assign. Now we can switch to material view again. For that I'm gonna hit set and choose material preview. And all that's left is the lid. Let's go back out of edit mode with tab, select the lid, open this little drop down right here and choose the first material that you created. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. Leave a like and subscribe and tell me in the comments what tutorials you wish for in the future. And we're gonna see us next time. See ya!